Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel where today we see Wahoo releasing a feature they're calling Ready to Ride to the current model Roam and Bolt cycling computers, both of these on revision 2 of that hardware. Now in summary, as you can see here on screen, you'll get an updated start screen or menu when first turning on these devices, you'll get better sensor status and management from that start screen, and you'll get quick access to safe routes and workouts. Now this Ready to Ride start menu is optional, you can toggle that on or off with the updated element app if you just want it to drop into your start ride screen as it has in the past. Now not to be forgotten, the original element, the Rome one and the Bolt one also get updates today, but they don't get that start menu. They get some under the hood changes and miscellaneous bug fixes and enhancements. The standard thing you see on change logs every now and then. Now there is one feature that does roll out to all of these devices today. It's a feature that was asked for around six years ago for the first time over on the Google support forums, when we used to use Google Groups as support forums. And that is the ability to see your electronic group set battery status as a data field. Now in the past you would get an alert if your DI2 or ETAP batteries were around 20% or lower. It'll pop up on screen. Or you can go to the sensor menu and check the status, but now you can have it configured as a data field. Okay, a quick look at this ready to ride functionality, pulling up both the Roam 2 and the Bolt 2 here on screen. We'll start off with the, well, the Bolt 2. Start to ride will get you straight into your ride location. We have indoor or outdoor, still no ride profile there for gravel or mountain just yet. Routes, if we want to load a route or a route before starting a ride, we can drop down and say select uh, Lake Wendery. Select on that, it will preload the route as we start off and away we go. Once that loads, there we go. We'll end that one. Next up, planned workouts. If you want to take off starting a workout straight away, you can preload one of those right there. Multi-sport, if you want to hand off to the rival watch. And under settings, we have a few options here. LEDs on or off, backlight on or off, save my location. Let's just skip this one just for now. It's a secret little menu that uh, is only in beta, maybe coming soon. Strava, live segments on or off can be toggled from this menu here, either during a ride or before a ride, and the same with summit segments, toggled on or off. They're the options under settings. Sensors is where the new stuff is at, so you can see there are four sensors connected all up. Heart rate is currently connected to a ticker on my ankle, would you believe, it still works. Power link zero, pedals, if we go into the details of that, we should have battery left and right battery status, which is good to see, and Shimano Di2 which is on the bike right next to me. Information there, just showing the one single battery, not showing the lever battery just yet, which is, uh, well, it should be coming soon. Uh, everything else remains the same on that menu. So we'll go back there into the ride, or into the main screens, and you can see here, gear battery, 50%. Is on my DI2. Now shifter battery still isn't showing anything there and everything else looks pretty much the same as you're riding along out in the road. So no changes there to the, I guess, in-ride experience. That's what I guess the name Ready to Ride is about, not during the ride for this new functionality. Over on the Roam 2, everything looks very much similar. Uh, Powerlink 0 connected there, Shimano DI2, uh, Ticker Fit, which is currently 67 BPM on my ankle, <laughs> and battery 98% looking good there, connected over Bluetooth. Um, and again, everything else remains the same with the menus. Between these two units, things are pretty much one for one nowadays. Now, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, but while I'm here, I will remind people to double check they are on the latest maps for their head units. Now, having the latest updated maps is important. Roads change quite often, and with features like summit segments relying on that map data, it's always useful to have updated maps. And recently, we have seen some updates for the APAC region. Pulling up the Element Companion app here on my iPhone, we can go through the process of updating the maps or checking to see if there are any map updates required. Scrolling down, scrolling down, and the red dot there right next to Manage Maps, boom, that's what we need. Hot tip there is that your Element will need a Wi-Fi connection to download those maps. So the initiation is done from the phone, but the unit will pull down the maps itself. There is some updates, update local maps, update available to Australia, update all. And give it a few minutes, depending on your internet speed, you'll have the latest maps installed on your unit. Alrighty, we'll leave it there today, just a quick one. There we are, that is ready to ride mode, rolling out to version two of the Bolt and the Roam, with a few smaller quality of life updates also going to the older units as well. So again, kudos to Wahoo for still updating this old beast. It's still ticking along. Who would have thought? Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching this one. Uh, hit like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank <laughs> you.